so teaching students how to draft an essay that is an analytical essay that incorporates textual evidence to make a claim, to make a point, to answer the question, um, what was his vision? And have we uh, come to, is his vision real? Right, that's our goal. So how did you support the students or show them how to draft this essay after looking at the mentor texts? We started out by saying what an analytical essay was, which was pretty easy for them to answer because they had seen those mentor texts uh, previously. So they knew they needed to have an introduction, body, paragraphs, and then a conclusion. And then from there we went to that question and just had the kids pop off ideas of what his vision was. We made a big chart listing all their ideas out and then organized them for that to turn into a thesis statement. And we're posting some of those on this uh, presentation. Go on. So they they looked at the different way the different visions Lincoln had from his speech and then they turned that to be a, a thesis statement. And it wasn't like the kids just knew what a thesis statement was. That's something that's introduced to them in, at, in the fifth grade level. And so we taught them the steps of writing a thesis, which was to identify a subject, Abraham Lincoln, his Reconstruction speech, and then to look at the setting specifically. You know, this, this was after the Civil War. It was regarding Reconstruction. Uh, we might call it the context. Right. And then turn that subject into a question, which was easy because that question already exists. That question's been guiding them right. throughout the unit. And then to answer that question. And that answer refined is a thesis statement. Okay, and we have the sort of steps of the process here that you posted. So they go through that, and then they have their thesis, and that's pretty much the meat of their introduction. Right. Um, is there anything else in the intro about the introduction that would be that you spend time with in terms of writing that? The only thing I think is important to mention is that the thesis statement, I feel like, is the most important sentence yes. that they can come up with. Right. And so I spend a lot of time conferencing with everybody and saying, you know, I, I conference with every single student and I ask them, you know, do you, are you sure about this? And this doesn't sound right, we might need to switch these words around. You know, so we revise and edit to the thesis statement a, a, a day, a work time period. How many students do you have? Um, 25 in one class and 26 in another. So there, while you're conferencing, what are the other students doing? Well, they sometimes I would say, okay, I've read yours, yours is great. Now can you read so-and-so's and can you peer conference with that child? You know, try, look for errors, make sure they're, you know, make sure it makes sense. Right. You know, it's easy to read, you can understand it. So they would, I would conference, they would peer conference together. Okay. Um, and what about making sure that they collected evidence and incorporated a lot of textual evidence and they're showing that they understand the text and are sort of making a claim based on evidence? That brings us to the next, um, the next graphic organizer. What we did was, um, in my class, we would focus on one piece of his vision. For instance, this student focused on peace. Mm -hmm. He wanted peace throughout the nation. And so that would that would lead that student to the second paragraph. And they would choose an element from his vision, and then they would decide what pieces of the, or what text, what words did he say that confirms he's talking about peace. And then after they found that piece of evidence, they would write the page number down and the paragraph they found it in. And then they would explain or clarify, you know, I've, I've gathered this evidence about peace. How do I know it's about peace? Let right. me explain it. So they so so you brainstormed five or six visions. They choose some of those visions to write about mm -hmm. in each paragraph, right? Based on their thesis statement, right? And now they're going back, reading again, right? right? Mm -hmm. And set, looking for what is in there that can prove that that really was his vision, right? Um, how long does that take? That in itself was a mini lesson, and I just I had a huge poster made like that okay and I did one for them modeling mm -hmm. and then we did one together and right. then I had them do one on their own okay as a whole class and so that was the mini lesson and then during work time they were given these drafting sheets and they would fill out their own okay. independently and then they then turned that into a paragraph yes and then the next step was you know write your topic sentence but have an engaging 
you know, engage the reader. They they did it by questioning, like, do you, Miss Jen, do you believe in peace? And then they started mm -hmm. with their quotes. Using the strategies that they unpacked from the lesson before. Right. How did this look different with your students who may have been, you know, who, who were more of some of the, yeah, how does this work for some of the EIT students? So I'm asking. They, they had that same expectation of producing a thesis statement, you know, now it took a little bit longer. That for them, that was like two class periods rather than, than one. And we did a lot of modeling. Um, me going through it, writing one, and then us having written one as a class, and then when they went back independently, I actually had them get together in groups. Which of you want to talk about unification? You guys get together. Those of you that want to talk about equal rights, you get together. Okay. Now as a group, let's come up with one, right. and then do it by yourself. Okay, so more practice turns, maybe with um, collaboration with right. each other. But then it did end up being, eventually, their, on their own. work. And that, way, that had to happen. Well, what we're going to do is post some student samples so um, the audience can see what it led to and what were some of the, the final products of the fifth grade writing. So I hope that you know, teachers can see the culmination of this project.